Tasmania is the brand new album from Pond, and we are joined by Nick Albrook from the band. Welcome back to San Francisco. Thank you. Thank you for your time. It's good to see you. Yeah. Cheers. And we are actually dressed in shorts and comfortable weather. It's yeah, man. <laughs> kind of a, an oddity here in San Francisco. Oh, I'm loving it. Yeah. That's right. Uh, congratulations on this album. Thank you. So, so good. And the last time we spoke was almost about a year and a half ago, or what have you. And, and at that time, you already, you, you said that you were already working on the new album. Mm -hmm. And so, from that point forward and, until the release, how much of it was already done, and, and how many just finishing touches were there? Yeah, I think I think we still had a bit of we still had a bit of stuff to do. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we just kind of sat, did most of it in a little block, but we probably mucked around with some stuff after. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, sonically, was that a lot of that already done, or were lyrics and music were already? Um, yeah, like the lyrics and music were pretty set out. We probably were just messing about with, you know, just faffing around, kind of wasting time. <laughs> yeah. uh, Is that how it happens? Giving just... ourselves more work than necessary. Same thing. Liberal media rap is only here since stories that you're... Even up to. The notable thing about this album is the lyrical content. It's very socially conscious. Mm. A little different than your previous works. <laughs> and you've noted this in, in previous interviews from what I understand where you're, you're saying things like, well, we've reached a, a point where being a human and we're, we're observing all these different things happening in the world and it's important for us to talk about. Yeah, yeah, I guess I just, um I mean, I know I'm not any kind of. I guess I'm not. I know I'm not any kind of prophet, or um, or, and I don't have any sort of advanced ideas or on um, on uh, on social change apart from what's like you know your regular person has in their conscience, but. Um, just I figured the only thing, the one thing we could do was maybe just add like a notch of volume to the conversation at least you know it's not like a political manifesto it's just kind of an expression of us or me uh, and our fears just very like human fears and um, apathy you know this sort of this circle of like terror and apathy and um, and uh, and and then having these little joys as well that um, and just the way they all interplay and I don't know what the, you know I don't know what to do with the problem it's bloody terrifying and that's what it's about normal people just being scared and confused. Just a few days uh, prior to this recording, there was a big climate strike and it yeah. was led by uh, Greta Thunberg, 16-year-old from Sweden. Yeah, yeah, I was there in, in New York. How was that? It was great. It was really good. So Jaden Smith. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was cool. It was really good. Very necessary. One of the really important things to me was that it was massive in Australia. And Australian Australian sort of politics and social movements have been like garishly um, lazy. Like um, a lot of people in Australia think that the real problems are happening in England and America, but it's not true. It's just that there's not not much of a um, not much of not much um, foot stamping mm. going on in Australia because our left wing is um, sort of facilitates all the uh, decisions that go on. But um, it was just really great seeing that people were. Uh, were really angry and um, hopefully that's like a you know a turning point in this sort of Australian social conscience or something um, that people will get together and um, and yell and scream yeah which is I guess all we can do apart from know, chucking your in the recycling <laughs> bin or carrying around a, a bottle so you just released this album yeah. And now I understand in November we're going to be getting a live album. Yeah. Called Sessions. Yeah. 
And so give us some context in terms of what the mindset was in this and is this a series of different live recordings or one one-time deal? Or? It could be, yeah, it could be a series. We were talking about it. Um, we, we didn't plan it like that. I don't know, we've been trying to do a, um, a live album for ages and we had one pretty locked in a while back, um, but then all our, a bunch of our stuff got stolen out of the car in Portland while we were playing a gig, including the uh, like computer and hard drive and oh, stuff. Oh no. So, um, but it's all come out good. This one's probably better than that one would have been anyway. So, <laughs> you know, um, well, you're fortunate, right? Not every band has the capability to replace all their gear. Exactly, yeah, bless. Yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll do maybe we'll do some other ones. Hmm. It's been so, really fun. It was it was really fun. Any any particular thing that you were trying to convey or capture with this? Live? Just because like the um, the composition of the songs, just the little inflections that you muck around with, and the little uh, we've been like with some of these songs we've been playing for so long, and they've really like mutated since we recorded them just from like adding on one thing and it sort of it grows like a like a stalactite you know mm -hmm. um, and uh so we thought they needed to be kind of re uh re-archived yeah you know? That's awesome. I love live recordings. I love when bands uh, do different things to their music, that, especially the older stuff. Yeah. Right? And, and, and almost in a way reinterprets it at some point. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, so, yeah, some of them, some of the songs are like real old. Yeah. Know, like the first album we made in our crappy share house. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. We're well, well, playing cool. them very differently now. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, and hopefully it is a series so that we can we can hear more and, and, and you know it captures the different snapshots of where you are as musicians and, and your skill level as well. I, I'm sure, right? Yeah, I guess it does. I don't feel like I've I felt felt like I plateaued at playing the guitar when I was about 18. Or oh God, um, come on! No, it's not it's true. Uh, I'm not sure. And um, yeah, no, but we I, I suppose we're better. <laughs> You're better. You're, trust me, you are. Uh, I'm looking forward to the show tonight, and, and, yes. and congrats on this album, and thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Awesome. It's uh, Nick from Pond Tasmania, out now. Sessions comes out in November. You're watching B-Sides On Air.